there, welcome to another edition of AC 24 7. I'm Lamar Baldwin. Washington's so called Gang of Eight will be briefed later this week on a suspected Chinese balloon incident. There will also be a full Senate classified briefing later this week. According to a senior U.S. military official, a single missile brought the balloon down Saturday. President Biden declared the takedown a success, but some Republicans say the balloon should have been brought down sooner. The Chinese government issued a statement Sunday expressing, quote, strong dissatisfaction and protest against Washington's actions. China says the airship was for civilian use and had entered the U.S. airspace by accident. Beyonce has made Grammy history by becoming the most decorated artist ever. Still, she missed out on the top category, Album of the Year. With 32 statues, Beyonce has now passed classical music icon Sir George for the most Grammy Awards wins of all time. Viola Davis also made history as the fourth black person to be named an EGOT winner. Only 17 people hold that accomplishment. The term EGOT stands for Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. Other award winners include Maverick City Music, Kendrick Lamar, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Willie Nelson, and Ozzy Osbourne. Another near collision between two airplanes happened this weekend, the latest at Austin Airport in Texas. A similarly close call last month at New York's JFK Airport. The Advocate Channel's Pete Montine has the story. It is the latest case of a near collision on the runway, this time at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. The Federal Aviation Administration says on Saturday, a FedEx Boeing 767 was coming into land as a Southwest Airlines 737 was cleared to take off ahead of it. Air traffic control recordings detail apparent concern from the tower as the Southwest flight remained on the runway. Southwest are confirm on the road. Well, no. But preliminary flight radar 24 data shows the two planes remaining on a collision course. The FAA says the crew of the FedEx flight aborted its landing and started to climb. Experts say averting disaster. FedEx is on the go. The FAA and probably the NTSB will interview the flight crews. They'll interview the tower personnel. They'll review the, uh, the tapes and they'll find out where the mistakes were made. The National Transportation Safety Board says it is investigating this as a possible runway incursion. It is the same type of incident that happened on the runway last month at JFK. In that case, the pilots of a Delta flight were told to abort their takeoff as an American Airlines flight taxied across the runway in front of it. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff clearance. Delta 1943, cancel takeoff plans. Rejecting. That underscores, one, that the most dangerous part, the most perilous part of, of your trip is often when the plane is taxiing on the runways. These runways are crowded. Thank you for joining us for another edition of AC 24-7. For more content that advocates for you, go to AdvocateChannel.com and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. For the Advocate Channel, I'm Lamont Baldwin.